Hey everyone, it's April 30th, and I hope everyone is having a good day. All right, so let's get into it. First, all right, remember that there are no classes on May Friday the 1st and May Monday the 4th, all right? Next, okay, remember to do your daily check-in. If you haven't done so yet, go ahead and do that. Next, okay. Also remember to do your digital citizenship class or quiz, okay? You, once you finish that, we'll be able to meet with you. All right, next, always remember to take care of yourself. Once again, we're in a weird time, so be sure to be safe, all right? And make sure that your family is safe as well. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. So remember, we are in step four right now, all right? So you are choosing one of these versions as your final version for your poem. So that can be the audio performance, visual creation, video performance, or analysis of your poem. All right, let's get through this. So your audio performance, okay, you are reading your poem aloud on a video while you show a drawing of drawing of what you have created that represents your poem all right so this can be written or typed um, be sure that you are well rehearsed practice multiple times before recording include at least two examples of figurative language all right always remember that you must have a title for your poem all right so read your title your poem and say your name. Next, for the visual creation, this will this can go on a Google slide or another app that allows you to show a creative visual piece. On your visual piece, include your title of your poem, your name, your drawing, your image that shows the meaning of your poem. Once again, you must include at least two examples of figurative language. Um, and lastly, it should be obvious that you have spent time on this visual to look beautiful and neat. All right, video performance. On the video, uh, you'll read your poem clearly with good amounts of volume. All right, remember to show yourself. Memorize your poem or read your poem from, poem from a written version. Make sure you are well rehearsed. Next. Always include at least two figurative languages in your poem. Last, have a title, all right? Once you have your title, you'll have your poem and your name in the video. Last, the analysis of your poem. All right, so you'll complete an analysis um, of my poetry worksheet, which is on Schoology. You should have at least included two figurative languages. You should have spent a decent amount of time. And lastly, you should have a title for your poem. All right, so this is what you'll be doing on Thursday. All right, making your final version. All right, it doesn't have to be due on Thursday, but make sure that you know which one you are doing for Thursday. All right. So some ideas to help you for the audio and video performances, make sure to have good eye contact. Don't stare at the floor, all right? Make sure your face is shown. Next, a projection, all right? Speak loudly and speak clearly, all right? Hold on, sorry, somebody's knocking. All right. and next is enunciation all right so make sure that the listener knows exactly what you're saying don't mumble speak clearly all right uh, next will be your facial expressions make sure to animate your poem all right don't be a statue smile look happy don't be angry okay uh, gestures such as hand motions and body movements emphasize different elements of your performance. Next, remember to always practice. 
All right, practice, practice, practice. When you do it enough, it becomes easier. And when it becomes easier, it'll look more fluid, okay? Which will probably get you a better grade overall. So everybody should have this uh, simple worksheet as well, which means you can go ahead and get access to these short links, okay? If you need some examples of their spoken words and how to do their video audio performances, you can watch that. These are some examples of the visual ones. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Give you another second. All right. And then lastly, if you are doing an analysis of your poem, okay, make sure to have your title, your name, the meaning of your poem. All right. You're going to explain it. And then you'll give a brief summary in your words, okay? Explain what your poem is about and what you want others to remember. Next, you're going to tell us what uh, poetry techniques you included. So that could be the metaphor, the simile, the personification, assonance, and so on, all right? Your writing process, how did your poem change from your first draft to your final version? Explain what you did. Lastly, the theme, okay, identify the central idea of your poem, all right? What is the big message about life in your poem, okay? If we look at um, Ross Gay, how he's talking about how he's trying to remember his life, okay? And what things were important to him while he grew up, okay? So what things were important to you? So those are the things that you'll be writing about. And let's go ahead and end it with you, okay? So remember, you should have shared a Google Doc with me. Go through the poetry resources. Keep working on your final drafts and edits. You can email Mr. Her to set up a conference if you need it. And it should have been all shared. So remember to complete step four. Otherwise, have a great weekend. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Adios.